Welcome back to the channel DM with Carl and in this Premiere Pro tutorial I'm going to show you how to add the background blur effect inside of Premiere Pro. So let's jump onto my laptop and let me show you how you can add it quickly and easily. We're going to grab the Gaussian blur effect and drop it onto our clip that we want to blur the background. Now you can do this before you start making cuts so that you can apply it across your whole video and then have a blurred background all the way through. Then we're going to head up to the top left hand side and go into the effect controls and head down to the Gaussian blur that we've just added. Now we're going to select the free draw pen tool and we're going to grab that pen tool and I want you to draw a line on the outside of your body to just select you in the picture. Select the portion that you want to keep in focus. So we can do this quickly and easily. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. If you spend a lot of time on this, you can make it perfect. Once you've completed it, make sure you finish the selection by putting your last point on top of the first point that you started. And then we're gonna head over to the left-hand side and we're going to select inverted. And then we can adjust the blurriness and it's only going to blur what we haven't selected. And I don't like to go too over the top here because then it's a bit obvious. I like to keep it around 35, maybe 40 sometimes. Once you're happy with how blurry it is, we're going to go to mask path and we're gonna play this clip through so that Premiere Pro can predict the mask path as you move in the image. Now this may take a bit of time, so we're gonna fast forward this process for you. Okay, so let's go hit the up arrow to go to the start of the clip and let's play this through and see how well it's done. As we start moving, you can see it's starting to blur the edges of our face, so it's losing it a bit. So I want you to scroll to where it starts losing you and it is about there where it starts losing us. And all you need to do is as it loses you, just grab those points and drag them out so that you are back in focus. We go and we can pull these ones in that have moved away a bit and that looks pretty good. And then once you've adjusted it, you can play that again and it's going to adjust the tracking onto where you've moved it to. And we can do this. It does take a while to get the tracking right, but once you've got that spot on, it's going to look really cool and it's going to give you the effect of having a really, really expensive lens with that nice blurry background that we all after. So let's go back to where we started and scroll and see how well it's doing. It's looking better, but there, as we move there, it's gonna go off. So we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna move those tracking points. If you make a mistake, you can just Command Z to go back like that. Now it doesn't have to be exactly perfect and we're going to play that out to mask that path tracking one more time and let's play that through and have a look at how it's doing. Now that's created a really cool effect in a quick and easy way. The last power tip that I want to give you is this feather. You can increase the feather just to not make it so drastic and you can see the dotted line here is going to show you how much feather you have got and i like to have it around 30 maybe 35 and let's watch it back one more time you can see what a difference that feather makes so it just edges that blurriness in and it's not so sharp and horrible on the edge of your body I like the way that looks and it's added so much quality to the video in a really quick and painless way. If you have any questions or queries about blurring the background inside of Premiere Pro or if there are any other Premiere Pro tutorials that you would like me to create, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll go out and create those videos specifically for you. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button and if you're new here, consider subscribing because we create new tutorials just like this one every single week, just for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.